So rumor has it that Tales of the Walking Dead has been ordered to receive a season two. And if we're being honest with one another, I'm actually very excited for it. Now, hold on, hold on. To put your pitchforks down, please, Jesus. I need to explain this, okay? I understand that this show is hated by a lot of people. I get it. Season one was not that good. It really wasn't. I mean, the stories themselves were really weird. They were self-contained in this weird way where it didn't make sense that tell these stories compared to what could have been. And I get it. I really do. I understand season one was a flop. But I am extremely, extremely hopeful that season two will do the right thing because apparently Scott Gimple has already talked about the fact that they are aware of the community feedback of the show and they're working on improving it and apparently the running title of this thing is More Tales of the Walking Dead which is ridiculous why don't you just call it Tales of the Walking Dead season 2 uh, maybe it's because the press itself is not good for the show or anything like that but I don't see the point in trying to like announce another spinoff or anything even though this is Tales of the Walking Dead it's just a slightly different name but yeah apparently today the show has really kind of been announced to be getting this season two or at least that they're working on it and that AMC ordered it I think it's a good thing because I think there's a lot to explore here that they missed out on in season one I think there are some really great opportunities and if they truly are listening to fan feedback like Scott Gimple is saying they are and AMC overall is apparently saying they are I'm very excited to see what they could come up with. So I figured in this video, I'd just make a really quick discussion about what is to come and what I want to see out of the show. So one of the biggest things that I want to see out of Tales of the Walking Dead Season 2 is a return to form, I guess, even though there was no form with Season 1. The only thing that comes to mind is the Alpha episode, and I would absolutely love to get one-off stories just like that with characters that we know and love. One of those that comes to mind that I'd be really, really excited to see is Eastman. I would love to see a story of what happened with Easton, Eastman excuse me, and that storyline of him with... Um, Cryer Dallas Wilton or whatever his name is, the guy who, you know, unalived his family and all of that stuff. That would be an example of something that would be truly amazing to see in Tales of the Walking Dead. That's what I think it really should be. It should be stories about our crew, our characters, like maybe an episode with Shane and Laurie about what happened at the start of the outbreak. We never got something like that. That's what the show was supposed to be. Now, I do understand that there are budgetary constraints with a show like this that only has six episodes, and you could tell that the budget just overall was not strong for the show. I do see that. I do recognize it, but that doesn't mean they can't get some creative ideas in there, and I'm sure it's not the worst thing in the world to dilute the set and things like that a little bit to pay for the actors, if that makes any sense. You could really, you know, you could save money in some other ways by hiring some big names in there from the show. I really think an Eastman episode would be good. A John Bernthal episode with Lori would be really great to see at the start of the outbreak. Maybe even you do some what ifs in there. I'm not saying you should because I understand the what if genre is kind of its own sort of thing, but it would be kind of cool to see something with Carl, even though Carl Chandler Riggs in particular is older and things like that. And you know what? Before I get any further into this video, I want you to let me know what you want to see from Tales of the Walking Dead. There are so many characters out there and there would be so many really interesting stories to tell in the world of The Walking Dead. So I think I'm just going to list off a couple outside of the Eastman and Shade ones that I want to see and I'm making these up as I go. I don't have a script for this or anything like that so I'm just kind of talking out of my you know what. But another one that came to mind as I was rambling was a really interesting idea, I guess, at least in my opinion, it's interesting, whatever. Anyway, I think something that would be really cool is a Father Gabriel story about how he abandoned his people at the start of the outbreak. That's another example of something that the show should have been from day one, but instead we get these really odd episodes, Blair and Gina, which who even thought that that was a good idea? Like, seriously, is there anyone on planet Earth that thought Blair and Gina would be a good story instead of something like Father Gabriel's story about how he abandoned his 
community. I mean, I'm sure that was somewhat of an idea, but those actors are more expensive. There's different sort of contracts with those actors who are, you know, crucial parts of The Walking Dead and things like that. So I do get that. But I think that would be something that would be really cool to see. Maybe it would be cool to see Glenn at the start of the outbreak or a little bit more with Daryl and Merrill in the start of the outbreak. Something like that is what this should have been. Tales of the Walking Dead, I personally think, should have been a show about tales of the outbreak. Tales of the outbreak with people that we know and love. You have amazing characters. You have Rick, Michonne, Shane, Lori, Glenn, Daryl. The list goes on and on. I don't know what you could do with something like Carol. I'm not too sure. But you could easily do something with like... Beta, you could easily do something with Negan and his saviors and all of that stuff. Those things are very attainable and easy to do. But instead, we got these weird episodes in season one, and that's where I think the opportunity really lies. I kind of think that season one of Tales of the Walking Dead was in some way, shape, or form a test run for the concept. And I think they just wanted to get the craziest ideas out because they knew the viewership was going to be high, which is such a weird strategy in my opinion. And I could be dead wrong, but that's what it seemed like. It seemed like that at that season was like test running what could be possible with The Walking Dead. And it clearly flopped like it did not work. I don't know anyone who looks at that show fondly, at least in season one, other than like two episodes that were okay. But I think it was a good test run, and I think they've definitely, definitely heard a lot from the community feedback, which is a little crazy that they're renewing it, considering most of it was negative and all of that, but whatever, that's beside the point. I'm very glad they're renewing it, if you couldn't tell. That's why I'm excited to talk about it in this video. There's really not much else I have to say. I just wanted to share the news and how I feel about them. So I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. Do you like the idea of Tales of the Walking Dead Season 2? Do you hate the idea of it? And if if you do like it, I'd love to know what in particular you're excited to see. Because I think they're going to do it right this time, or at least I hope. I really do hope... But you know, The Walking Dead spinoffs are notorious for being really bad and not quite so listening to fans, so I'm just praying that they actually do this show justice. I think they are, because I think they heard enough. I really do. But we could be wrong. We'll come back when the show is actually a thing, because right now it's just kind of light rumblings of it being real. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, I can't wait to start an open conversation about that down in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like rating and subscribe for more Walking Dead videos as well as other videos. Again, I don't just do Walking Dead, but I love The Walking Dead, so I'm going to talk about it. And yeah, with all of that out of the way, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.